Boom. Welcome all my awesome artists to the Isbell Art Room. I am so excited for a fantastic year. We have some great new things going on, not only in my room, but all around the school. So I'm so excited to share some of these things with you and get started on a wonderful year. We have some really fun projects that we're gonna be doing this year. All right, our tables this year are a little bit different. There's still some things that are the same. Each label is labeled with a color. This happens to be the purple table. The colors are found on the legs of the table. Each chair has a number, and those correspond with your art jobs, which I'll go over in just a minute. But the new thing, and I think this is gonna be great, is this awesome new supply bin that is at each table. Each table has their own. In your supply bin, on top, you have pencils, erasers, pencil sharpeners. The first drawer has scissors and glue sticks. The second drawer has crayons, markers, uh, color sticks, all sorts of supplies. And then the bottom drawer are all of these file folders. And these file folders, folders are going to have your sketchbooks in them. So you can see that, look at the file folders, are labeled with all of the different teachers in the school. And then that's where your sketchbook is going to be stored. And you actually will get that today and we'll get to start working in it today. Art jobs, one of the most important things in the art room. Everybody has a job every day to help clean up and keep the art room looking great for the next class. Your art job corresponds with the number you are sitting at, and you're actually gonna have the same art job for nine weeks this year. And then after the nine weeks, we'll switch. And so if you're number one, your job is teacher's team. And you are going to help me basically pass out paper, do anything that I need to, um, to do that day to help out with your table. Number two, you guys are the neat freaks. Neat freaks are going to be the ones to wipe the tables down. And this year we're gonna use something called tiny towels. Number three, you are supply manager. You are in charge of everything in that awesome supply box at your table. Number four, you are the sketchbook master. So you are the one that's gonna be getting the sketchbooks out for your table and putting them away. Number five, you are the human vacuum. Pick up anything that falls on the floor, um, dust pans, you can get a dust pan if you would like to, to help with that. And then if you have a number six at your table, which we don't have number sixes at every table, you are the quality control. You're gonna go around at the end and make sure everything is cleaned up properly. Here are our I can statements. When you come in the room, you can look up at your grade level and you can see exactly what we're gonna be um, learning about that day. There might be examples, there might be vocab words. Um, this week we're getting to know the art room, so that's our I can for this week. I got some new storage in the art room this year. I needed some extra storage for supplies, but I also wanted some storage for some of our centers that we have. Um, so if you're looking for whiteboards, they're going to be right here. Markers for whiteboards are right here. And I even this year have erasers. So that's where you'll find these things. All right, the sink at the art room. If you need to come wash your hands, you can use either one of the um, sinks to wash your hands. But instead of getting paper towels from the paper towel dispenser, this year we are going to just get a piece of paper towel out of the bucket. I think that's gonna be a lot easier. Both people will be able to reach the paper towels no matter what sink you're at. And um, we won't make all that noise with the paper towel dispenser. dispenser. Behind that, we have something called tiny towels. These are going to be for my neat freaks. So if you're sitting at number two, you are my neat freak. And these are the tiny towels that you are going to get after art in order to clean your table off. And then when you're done with it, you're just gonna come and put it back inside this container. The drying rack is located in the back corner of my room. This is where we put any papers that are wet with paint, glue, anything that needs to be dried. Um, so I have this paper right here. We're gonna pretend that I just got finished painting this. So I'm gonna take it to the drying rack and I'm going to put it in from the side. 
If I put it in from the side, then it's gonna um, stay on one of the bars very nicely instead of fall through. Here's a couple of boards I have in the art room. These are our building blocks of art, our elements and our principles of art. These are the main key words that we're gonna be learning about this year. And these are the words that you will see in your sketchbooks. Also, back in the back of my room, I have a word wall. So as we start learning about these words, I'll be putting up some word wall posters and examples, things that help us kind of remember those words throughout the year. Okay, so who doesn't love my humongous Mona Lisa? She is the focus of our room here, and she is always watching you no matter where you go. So we are going to act like Mona Lisa in this room. Whenever I am speaking, your eyes are watching Miss Duga, your mouths are quiet smiles, and your hands are still. Here are the rules of the art room and let's learn about them a little bit more. We listen carefully and follow directions. We show respect to people and things. We show pride in our work. We work together. We are unique and we have fun.